Hey everyone, Ryan here. Thought I'd give you a little tour of the application that we'll be working from in my uh, upcoming course, which is React Security Fundamentals. That's a free course. You can sign up at reactsecurity.io. So we've got this kind of generic looking SaaS application marketing page. Who knows what this particular Orbit application does, but it's just kind of like the look and feel of what you might see for a SaaS app. And we'll be working from this. Uh, so here's the marketing page. You can then go to log in and I'll log in with my account that I've got here. Once we are in, we go to this dashboard. And so this is just all fake data, of course, but it gives us a good sense of, you know, what a real SaaS application looks like and, and how it operates. We've got a dashboard, we've got an account. This is where there's this little switcher uh, for you to get over to an admin user level. Now, of course, this isn't what you would do in real life. You wouldn't be able to up your credentials yourself, at least in most cases, but this gives us an idea of what we can expect to see if we are splitting the application up based on role. So if I flip over to admin and then I go to log in once more, we'll see that there is an additional set of routes here that I can get to now. So uh, what else do we have? We've got inventory, which is where we keep, you know, some items, right? We can add a new one in, give it a number, give it a price. And boom, we've got two inventory items. We can delete them. So, you know, full CRUD operations here, and we're going to see how to work with that as uh, it pertains to authentication and, uh, and in particular roles in this case. We've got an account area. We already went over that where you switch the user and admin. We've got a settings area. This is where we're going to demo um, how you can do a cross-site scripting attack. And we're gonna see how to defend against that. So we'd have image with a source that's equal to nothing. And then if we give it on error with an alert and then a message, and then close that off. And if we save that, and then come over to this users area. This is where it's going to pop up. So we'll see how to defend against that. So, um, you know, pretty much what you would see in a full application, uh, all of the kinds of bells and whistles, at least from a starting point that we would want to work with. We've got this auth debugger that's going to help us see our token when it expires, user info, etc. So, um, you know, hopefully this will be useful for you. Uh, again, it's a free course. You can sign up at reactsecurity.io and it's coming out on May 19th. So uh, head on over to reactsecurity.io, sign up there and uh, I'll drop it in your inbox May 19th. Thanks.